Hello, welcome to this video. This video will be on how to manipulate and configure your network interface card on CentOS 7.5. So let's begin. So on your CentOS 7.5 uh, server that you installed, we're going to go over uh, the network interface card and how to configure it. First of all, I'd like to go over how to look up the information for your network interface card. So in the old days, you used to be able to look up the information on your network interface card through the command if, if config, right? If you want to see all of the interfaces, you would do a minus A, okay? As of CentOS 7, I have config, it, it no longer comes default with that uh, operating system, okay? N neither is netstat. Neither one of those commands commands come default with your uh, CentOS 7 uh, install. What you have to do if you want to use those commands is you have to install the package known as net-tools, okay? And the way you do that, you just use the yum, the yum package manager. And you just do a sudo space yum space install and then net dash tools. All right. And if you want to look and see what all packages comes with the net tools, you can do a yum info and press enter, put in your password. And then it will go ahead and load up and in a few seconds, oh, there it is. It shows you what the net tools is. Net tools contain basic networking tools such as if stat, if uh, I'm sorry, if config, net stat, route, and others. Okay? So if you want to use if config net stat, you'll need to install the net tools command. All right. Otherwise, you can use the new command that comes with uh, CentOS 7. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. And that's with the IP command. All right. So look up the um, your NIC information or your network interface information. You do an IP space address space show. And then you press enter. And then as you can see, it shows all your interfaces. This is the first one, which is the loop back. And then here's the second one, which is ENP0S3. And this is your uh, ethernet interface. And as you can see, the state shows that it's up. And here is the IP address. And this is the IP, and this is the MAC address. Okay, that's the new way of looking up your uh, network interface information. Now, if you want to use the shortcut command, you take you, let's clear the screen, and then you just type in IP space, and instead of typing out, typing out address, you type in A, and then instead of typing out show, you type in S, and that will provide the same results. Okay, now, also, if you want to look up the individual interfaces themselves instead of pulling up all of them you can run this command let's clear the stream and I'll hit up on the up arrow and it would be IP space a for address space s for show space and then the interface name which in our case is going to be ENP 0 S 3 and then once you press enter it will show you the output and the information for that interface okay so and there's also a new way of looking up uh, your default route to find your default gateway or your route routing information for your default gateway so let's clear the screen and to run that command is going to be IP space route space show then you press enter and as you can see, your default route is right here. And that's usually the IP address of the router that you're uh, connected to. Okay. And then the shortcut command to run that instead of the whole command. Let's clear the screen. 
and you'll type in IP space and then R for route and then S for show and then you press enter and there you go now one other thing we'd, I'd like to go over with today is how to manipulate your um, the IP address that is configured on your uh, on your server you can either have it set for dynamic IP address or static IP address with a dynamic IP address it will eventually change after a certain period of time um, and then with a static IP address which you normally want to do for a server um, you can set that so that it's not um, so that uh, it doesn't change it'll constantly be that IP address now we can do that very easily with a, uh, a tool called NMTUI okay and that's that stands for network manager text user interface and we'll go over it right now all right so you just type in sudo space nm tui and press enter okay and it brings up the uh the user interface for that and then you use your down and your up arrows to go from one place to the other okay so in this case we want to go to edit the, a connection you want to press enter on your keyboard and however many interface names in here that's what will show up for me I just got one it doesn't include the loop back I guess so and then you just go over with the right arrow and then you choose edit alright and then in here you can you know choose the down arrow for all of this stuff here I already have my interface uh, set for static but if you come down to where it shows highlighted in red it shows manual and you press enter originally it was set for automatic I went ahead and put it into manual then I put in my IP address that I was looking that I wanted to put in there right and then you can click on add if you wanted to add another IP address or if you wanted to you know add another one and then you put in your default gateway and then your DNS servers usually two DNS servers is enough and then once you put in all the changes that you want like these right here or this right here these right here if you want to choose one of them you gotta hit the, uh, the space bar on your keyboard alright and if you want to deselect one of them you just do the same thing hit the space bar on your keyboard right and then once you're done you go to the, you go down to the bottom with your down mouse arrow, or your down uh, arrow on your keyboard and then you just press enter when you get to OK all right and then you come over here and you go down to back and then when you're done I usually go over to where it says OK and then I press OK and then after you're done with that to, again to go ahead and check and make sure your changes uh, took place you just type in IP let's see uh, um, let's see A S E N P zero S three and of course mine has already been set and again there is my IP version for IP address so that's how you look at your uh, IP address that's how you look at your network interface and the network interface name and uh, that's how you go ahead and set the um, interface for either static or dynamic and so that's it for this video today thank you very much I appreciate you guys looking at it please like and subscribe and you have a good day bye bye